Hi, Leo. Welcome to your end of February love reading. This is Mary and this is Leo Sunlight Insight. Thank you so much for stopping by and watching. If you're new, welcome returning. Thank you so much for coming back. So this is a love reading. It's a love connection reading. So you have to actually have a connection with somebody, whether you're together or not. It doesn't really matter. So we're going to see what the energies are around the person that you have in mind at this time. So please do only take what resonates. Uh, don't try to make it fit. If it doesn't fit for you, then it's not your reading. And I do say at this time, because I do consider all my readings timeless. So if you'd like to go back and watch past readings, your links are below in the description box for your um, love playlist and your general playlist. If you'd like to uh, go back and watch those along with um, down there in the description box, you can get the information how to reach out for personal reading, decks I'm using, social media, how to tip or donate, uh, send a gift. All that um, information is below. So let's see what's going on with Leo and of February. Love connection reading. Spirit, please. Thank you so much. Thank you so much for stopping by and watching. Welcome. Hope everybody's doing well. Happy Valentine's Day. Or this will probably be out before Valentine's Day, but it is for the, well, for any time really. So, all right. So this is a zodiac oracle. You could get a sign, element, or planet. And if you don't resonate with what comes out, that is totally fine. Let's see. And we have Aries. So some of you could be dealing with an Aries. If not, totally fine. Or maybe they have it heavily in their chart. Um, if it's not their sun sign, they could have it somewhere else in their uh, chart. All right. So now what I'm going to do with this deck here. If you're not familiar with my readings, uh, first thing I'm going to do is pull an overall love energy between you and your person, or just the energy in general to see where the energy is at. And then I'll pull... Now, a lot of people have been complaining they don't understand my readings because I keep saying this person, that side, or this side. I do, if you listen to the whole reading, I do say this side is always for the person watching and this side is for the other person. But as you know, energy can shift and change and you may not resonate with this side and you may feel it's that. This is that. Uh, that is your side. Sorry. So I always say this side or that side because you may resonate uh, with a different side that I'm saying is your side. So that's the intention why I say the side, that side. So some people, I guess, find that confusing. They like to, to say, I guess they like me to say, okay, this is you, whether or not you, I mean, why would I do that if you don't resonate with that si side? You know, I do say it's your side, but I say if you resonate with the other side, then that's your side. So, oh, okay. Well, I hope I just didn't make it more confusing, but uh, I just wanted to clear the air about that. All right, so that being said, let's get an overall energy, Leo, between you and your person at this time. We have observe. So somebody's observing the other person. This is the hanged man. So this is not really taking any action. This is kind of being on a pause, a break, or things aren't moving right now. It could be watching each other, or one person moves watching the other person, observing them. The Aries is the emperor in the tarot which does represent somebody who could be a boss figure or something like that. So it could be a coworker or a boss or something that's observing you or something like that. If not, then uh, there's, I feel no movement right now. Uh, people are just watching, kind of watching each other, gaining perspectives, gaining insight, kind of hanging back maybe before making a move. All right, so Leo. Okay, Leo, this is going to be your side. This would be your person. But if you feel like this is your side and that's your person, then you switch and you flip-flop the energies all throughout this reading as you see fit because not every single part will resonate. All right, so let's get one for Leo and one for their person, Spirit, please. Oh, I got two. Well, this one kind of fell first, so I feel like that one goes there. So this one says for Leo... Rebuild. So this is the tower energy. And something covering the heart chakra here. But the heart is lit up. So I feel like something made it maybe, and you see the sun kind of shining in the background there. And 16 is 7. 7 is a very divinely guided spiritual number. Something may have crumbled down here, or you felt like maybe something had ended. You had to protect your heart. But now there's an energy of wanting to rebuild. Now you could rebuilding something... Um, the same thing in its place, or you could be rebuilding and building something totally new. So we'll see how the energies play out with that. 
And your person here has listen, which is the high priestess energy. So somebody is really listening, observing, I feel, and listening to their gut, their intuition, their higher knowing, but not saying anything because the high priestess is very quiet. They keep to themselves. They don't say much. So your person may not be saying anything at this time as they're kind of like hanging back and just observing. And they could be watching you and you're in the energy of kind of like covering your heart, protecting yourself, but also wanting to rebuild. So maybe you're rebuilding yourself from something that just ended for you. Or maybe if something happened with your person, you want to rebuild with them. So we'll see how that plays out. So let's see what's on the bottom of the deck. Choose your battles. So we have the seven of wands here. So that's about being, you know, on guard, defensive, you know, ready to put up a fight. But that says choose your battles. So uh, I do consider like the regular Tarot Seven of Wands, like maybe fighting for something or fighting for yourself, protecting yourself. So we'll see how this all plays out. So we need some Tarot here to clarify this energy. We're going to look at these energies and clarify that energy. We'll look at the current situation. We'll look at advice for the connection and possible outcome of the connection. And we'll get some uh, bonus messages at the end with that deck there with the angel answers for you, Leo. And I just want to give a, a quick shout out to all my new subscribers, all those who have reached out for personal reading, those who have tipped or donated or sent a gift. This deck was a gift, so thank you, thank you. If you have, all your uh, support really, really does mean a lot to me, and I truly, truly appreciate it. So thank you, thank you. Okay, so let's see what this energy is for you, Leo. Rebuild. Why is that energy here for Leo? Spirit, please. Thank you so much. Wow. <laughs> so we got the hangman again along with the star. So I feel like you're both kind of... Um, both kind of hanging back from each other, observing each other, I feel. Both having the hanged man energy, that, hang, that hanged man energy is here twice. But you're remaining, um, you got faith, hope, optimism here, wish fulfillment, healing energy. You could be healing for some from something that just ended for you. Or if you're on a break with your person because something happened, there's been a breakup. Uh, that's why we got paused twice here, but you're still, in, they're still in the energy of, I think you're still in the energy of watching each other. This person is listening, listening to their gut and their intuition about you. But you're like healing your heart. But yet remaining, you know, optimistic and uh, having hope. Wanting wish fulfillment of some kind. Okay. So let's see why your person has listened here with the high priestess. That's too many for Leo's person, whoever they have in mind at this time. That's too, well, I got one. We got the Four of Cups, which is kind of like my block card, feeling bored, stagnant kind of energy. And the Tower. Wow. So we got the Tower twice here, and we have the Hanged Man twice. Wow. So this definitely could have been a breakup between the two of you or a fight or a breakup or something happened where you two were separated, but you're watching each other. And this person is definitely listening to their gut and their intuition. And they're like, you know what? I'm, I'm kind of bored and blah without my person. I miss them. I think about them all the time. Like daydreaming, staring off into space. Um, you've got two cards with rain here. So this person uh, kind of knows now from deep within that they miss you, you know, during this breakup. You know, and maybe your person really hurt you for some reason, and that's why you're healing. It's like they're waiting for you to heal. Um, like, they're waiting, is this person going to come back to me? They're waiting here. Oh, boy. So they're waiting for you, Leo, to either come back or to heal from something, either from them or from... You both are in the tower energy, so you either both just went through um, separately, kind of went through breakups, and now are like kind of drawn to each other because the star always brings in something divinely guided so i'm really feeling more like there's been a breakup of some kind or a separation between the two of you you both have this tower moment here 
of either realizing, oh my God, this is my person. I don't want to be without them. Like this person misses you. They're waiting for you. They're longing for you. And you are over here having faith, hope, optimism, wanting wish fulfillment also. Wow. Okay. This person knows they listen to their intuition, but they're not saying anything. Maybe they're waiting for you to come forward to them. Let's see what the situation is here. So now we have the Empress that's falling on your side. So knowing your value, your worth, this is the birth of something new kind of energy. Some could be a mother here. Two of pentacles, trying to balance out energies here. Feeling imbalanced, could be something with monetary or work. Just trying to balance out all your energies here. What else? Now we got death here with uh, something ending but transformation. We got the star with the death card. I'm just feeling like heavy transformation here. Like letting old things just be old things. Like letting go of that past energy and major transformation. Especially with the death and the star. Alright. What else here? Three of Cups. So there's an energy of wanting to come. Your person wants to come back together. It's on their side. So there definitely was an ending between the two of you because we have death right in the middle of your, both of your energy along with the tower on both sides. Having the hangman here twice, it's the overall energy, and it's also um, on your side. So, But they're wanting to reunite, come back together with the Three of Cups energy because so they got the Three and the Four of Cups. So they're definitely, and I'm just noticing the numbers here, two, three, four. They definitely want progression with you. You have... Three major arcana on your side. So you feel like this is something major that, for you, it's something major for you. Maybe something they did or something that happened between the two of you. Like I said, it was a, there could have been a third party. Maybe they had a third party. If not, I don't necessarily feel the three cups always being a third party. To me, it's always about reuniting, rejoicing, celebrating, uh, getting together kind of energy. So... Let's get one more here for their side for the situation. So we got the Four of Swords energy here. So it's about healing. So I definitely feel like, you know, you've both have been like in your corners. You've been separated here. Um, maybe you, you know, didn't want to put up with whatever their energy was anymore because you knew your value, your worth. And you're like, I'm worth more than this. So you went into that hangman position, like kind of said, okay, let's take a break. Because you had a tower moment, then which caused them to have a tower moment because you wanted a break. And now they're like, okay, this is my person. Oh my God, I miss them so much. They're kind of, they're healing from that energy of, the, of maybe you breaking up with them or cutting them off or ghosting them or whatever the situation here. But they're heavily of healing and thinking, contemplating about the whole situation and knowing that they definitely want you back in their life. But transformation is here. Things could transform whatever ending there was between the two of you. You're still feeling like things are imbalanced, but uh, you're definitely in the high, uh, um, in the Empress energy here of being like the mother of the deck. You would still having faith, hope, and optimism over this too, but you both have cards of healing, but you have the major arcana of healing. So I feel like it was more, uh, for you, it was more a, more of a major thing for you, maybe, maybe for them, but okay. So let's see what the uh, advice is for this connection. Well, we got the chariot. So this is moving forward victoriously, it's success, ambition, drive, balance. So... Things can move forward here. And now we got judgment. So needing to make a judgment call here on this situation. So needing to decide, okay, do we want to come back together? This can be about forgiveness, resurrection. Can we forgive? For, well, maybe not forget, but forgive, resurrect, come back together, make this final decision to move this forward victoriously now. Two majors here. <laughs> to the Ten of Cups. Total joy, happiness, fulfillment in every single way. Like I said, some of you could have had um, a child with this person. If not, you know, maybe just furry children. Um, you know, can we come back together and have the Ten of Cups? Fulfillment in every way. 
But here's the Wheel of Fortune. So we definitely have fate, destiny. So is it the star energy? Things going in a better direction. Divine timing, fate, destiny, things going better, getting better to the Ten of Cups. So the advice here is to make a judgment call. Can we forgive, move on, resurrect this, move this forward triumphantly with success, drive, balance kind of energy? Can we turn the wheel to it? Can we make this better than it was before to this total fulfillment with the Ten of Cups energy? So the energy is here to move this along because you've got the wheel driving the chariot here. So two majors, three majors for your advice. So this is feel like something major. This can transform if you choose to do this. I'll go over the signs uh, at the end so it's not so confusing. But so far, I mean, we do have all the signs anyway, but I will go over. So let's see what the possible outcome could be here for Leo with this connection. We get the moon. Yeah, people not saying, uh, still not saying. The moon energy can be about secrets can be about very, very deep feelings and emotions. Um, things coming to light eventually. Intuition kind of energy. But then we have the sun. And then I did not just say things coming to light. So the sun always, after the moon, the sun always comes up, brings things to light. And here is a brand new beginning with the ace of wands. Very fiery, passionate, exciting new beginning between the two of you. The sun, this definitely could be um, soulmate twin flame energy. The sun is total success. It's the most positive card in the deck. Happiness, joy, success, victory, enlightenment, healing energy, happy home and family. I mean, everything imaginable with the sun. So if things have been secretive, not knowing things, things haven't been coming to light. But listening again with intuition is we have intuition up here. Things will come to light, happiness, joy, success, victory in every single way to fiery, passionate new beginning between the two of you. So let's see what's on the bottom of the deck. So now we have the Hierophant. So this definitely could lead to a uh, long-term commitment, uh, structure, doing what's moral, just, and right, value, values kind of energy. And then we have the Ace of Cups. So <laughs> big divine energy here with the Ace of Wands and the Ace of Cups. Emotions overflowing, uh, happiness and joy, big old couple love here, a lot of feelings and emotions. So new beginning in love. Again, we got the repeating card of the high priestess again. People not saying or communicating here, knowing deep down they want, they want the ten of pentacles with their person. Total uh, happiness, joy, fulfillment in every single way, um, abundance and growth, prosperity, legacy of a family dynamic, generations. Totally knowing I want long-term commitment to the Ten of Pentacles, this brand new beginning in love and long-term commitment with my person. But yet nobody's saying anything with the High Priestess energy. But we do have the Queen of Cups here. So a lot of love and emotions between the two of you. Feelings, uh, again, intuition kind of energy, compassionate energy, loving, caring, nurturing, giving kind of energy. People, you know, seven of wands, again, we have that over here, a lot of repeating cards. So being defensive, a little bit on guard here with each other for a while, but knowing nine of cups energy, wanting wish fulfillment, happiness and joy in every single way with, you know, the person here. Wow. So all the energy is here for long-term commitment, um, big, big love and passion, long-term commitment. If we can heal, mend, forgive, resurrect, transform the connection here, whatever happened between the two of you, whether it's just a fight, an argument, a breakup, a third party, something here, all the energy is here of people coming back together and forgiving, having a very successful new beginning, if you choose to um, have that. So for the other signs besides Aries, we do have Cancer and Pisces. We have Scorpio. We have... Um, Cancer Pisces here, Pisces again, Aquarius, uh, Aries, Empress here is Libra and Taurus, Scorpio, uh, Cancer, Scorpio, Sagittarius, Cancer Pisces again, Leo, and then over here we have, let's see, uh, 
Cancer Scorpio Pisces. Uh, Cancer Pisces again. Taurus. So those are the other signs I see. Basically, we have all the signs here anyway, but those who like to hear the signs, that's what um, I see. So let's get some extra messages with this deck here for you, Leo. And I do say, Leo, um, if you're new, you can check out my channel. And if you like what you see, please feel free to like, share, subscribe, comment. I love to read the comments. If you subscribe, hit the bell. You won't miss out on any readings. You get about five readings a month. So if you do, thank you. All right, so let's get some extra messages from the angel answers for Leo. No. Hmm. Okay. No. So <laughs> something here is a no. So let's see what that's about. What is that about for Leo? Why do we have no here? No, no, no. I feel like whatever happened, you start, You said, no, I'm not taking that. With the Empress energy. I know my value and worth. I'm not going to put up with that. Whatever they did or whatever happened between the two, two of you um, here, I feel like maybe you didn't say anything for a while as with the hangman energy. You know, you let it go on for a while and finally you just said no. Whether it's, I didn't get the devil here, so I'm not getting like addictions, obsessions or anything like that. Um, I mean, it could be with the third, three of cups, it could have been, you know, spending too, too much time with friends or partying too much or something like that or not spending enough time with you or something and you're like, nope, no more, you know, and you kind of maybe ended it, said, I'm not putting up with that. Choose a new direction. Wow. Okay. So I feel like you definitely did that. You said, I'm not putting up with whatever they were doing here anymore. I'm choosing a new direction. I'm choosing me. And I'm going to go off on my own here and uh, heal over this and think about it. You are ready? I feel like you finally got to the point where you're like, you know what? I'm ready now. I'm not. I'm ready to speak my mind. I'm not putting up with whatever BS they were doing here. Okay, let's get one more. Recovery, again, yeah, with uh, the star is about healing. And they also had the uh, four of swords on their side healing. So definitely recovery here uh, with healing. Thinking, contemplating kind of energy. Meditating, maybe some of you. And then trust. So yeah, I think trust needs to be rebuilt now on this uh, connection. Knowing, you know, you're going to say no. Not putting up with that BS. If we come back together, no more. Um, because if happens again, I will choose a new direction again. So I think some of you, uh, whatever happened here, not putting up with it anymore. But all the energy is here to transform, come back together, forgive, and move forward victoriously and passionately. And a lot of love here. Uh, definitely feel soulmate energy. I didn't get the two of cups or, um, but I mean the ten of pentacles, the ace of cups, the ace of wands, the sun, the ten of cups. Uh, judgment too can be about the soulmates bringing the soulmates back together and so does it the wheel bring the soulmates together so definitely soulmate energy here okay leo so i hope that resonated for you and good luck to you sending you many light love and blessings and as i always say with my channel is to always always shine your light